speed. If there was another one alongside, like one of those thermometers outside a church telling you how much of a cock you look... <laughs> This be right off the scale. He drove by in one of those. I'm not joking. What have you got? So that is a Kia Seed. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, yes. Now, hang on. Losing the will no. to live. Ah, I'm going to no. die. Does no. anybody here think that's cool? No. Absolute rubbish. Have you driven one? No, I wouldn't want one. No? Yes? No. Did someone say yes? Be yes, there's a lady here. You've saying driven yes. a Kia Seed? Works for Kia. <laughs> 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 on purpose, or is it just like bad in um, unemployment in your no, town? It's a fabulous car and it's a fabulous company. Really? <laughs> 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 You're not helping me now. No, except for one tiny detail. The Koreans eat dogs. <laughs> You're going to come down one morning and don't come crying to me if you find Top Gear Dog in a bap. <laughs> Again, it's this uncool. is your logic and it's frightening. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm on the money. Come on, be honest. <laughs> Why, if you work for Kia, have you got a TVR T-shirt on? Because TVRs are British and they're fast and they're sub-zero. Everything Kia's on. Let's be... <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> um, this, Ducati 1098. I'm sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ducati 1098. I'd like to put it forward to go on the board. In fact, I'd like to put it in the cool... I, I, seriously, no, there's every reason why this is a very, very cool bike. <laughs> It's an Italian superbike, but it isn't just technically very, very clever. It also looks beautiful. Ah. <laughs> a a motorcycle. Touch the nerve there, I think. With that touch the nerve. I may Do have... not put a motorcycle on the board. Now look what's happened. I'm sensing disagreement Run. from you. <laughs> Run or you'll be a lot shorter. I'm going <laughs> to... Now, earlier on, Richard Hammond and I were attempting to prove John F. Clarkson wrong by turning a Reliant Robin into a space shuttle. And when we left the action, it was all going terribly well. The launch site was a military base, whose whereabouts are a top secret. The build began, and soon the main fuel tank was assembled and attached to the launch pad, together with the solid rocket boosters. These parts contained the eight and a half tons of rocket power that would take the Reliance up into the heavens.